There is a special educational and enlightening historical exhibit. It is at the Bruce R. Watkins uh, Cultural and Heritage Center. We have Archie uh, Williams here and also Gail Hill. Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, tell us a little bit about this exhibit. It is about train history, a little bit about train history and the people. Yes, the trains in the uh, United States lasted from uh, 1868 until 1968. That's 100 years on the railroad. And the Pullman Porter exhibit is on loan to us from the National A. Philip Randolph Pullman Porter Museum from Chicago. So the porters, the Pullman porters, tell us about this, Archie. Who were they and why are they so important? Oh, it's very important. I'm in Kansas City, as a matter of fact, yeah. because of a Pullman porter. Uh, my uncle was a Pullman porter on the Frisco Railroad, and my dad was a cook on uh, the train as well. Wow, and so tell us a little bit about what their lives were like and, and what their history was like. I mean, they made a real dent in American history with the actions that they took. Well, they were uh, actually the largest uh, employed uh, industry of mm -hmm. African Americans uh, immediately after the Civil War, all the way up until uh, their demise around 68, 69 or so. They provided uh, middle class for a lot of the African American community, and uh, their work was considered uh, very dignified, uh, the most dignified in the uh, African-American community. Indeed. Now we're looking at some uh, pictures of the exhibit. There's also a video, Gail. Tell us. It's called Arising from the Rails. What's it about? It's a documentary about the whole culture of the Pullman Porters. There's some uh, actual commentary from Pullman Porters themselves, some men who were the dining car waiters, and from historians and family members. And it, it highlights how A. Philip Randolph, through a 12-year struggle, mm -hmm. helped to develop the uh, Sleeping car Pullman, the sleeping car porters uh, union, and that was the beginning of the black middle class. So they were the Pullmans were the first people to actually organize a union, African Americans. Exactly. Oh. After a 12 year struggle. That's incredible. And tell us that you were about to say. Well, uh, A. Philip Randolph became one of uh, the leading African American leaders of that time because of his efforts to organize and develop mm -hmm. the first. African American Union in the United States. That was surprising to me because I did not know the Pullman Porters were part of a union, so they actually had bargaining power with the, the railroads? Yes. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Because so they used to have to work about 100 hours a week. Oh my. For minimal salaries, and sometimes they had to work for free. Well, wow. right. That's they incredible. depended a lot on tips, and mm -hmm. one of the biggest tippers was uh, Jackie Gleason. Oh, really? <laughs> he loved the Pullman Porters. He, they, when he would ride the train, he would tip each one of them a hundred dollars. All right. Oh, that was significant. That is a lot of Very money back then. That was huge. All right, guys, thanks so much for coming and sharing. All right, tell us when and where we can go and see this exhibit. You've actually extended it because there's so much uh, interest in it. By that. popular demand, we've had to extend it <laughs> yes. until Saturday, April 23rd okay. at the Bruce R. Watkins Cultural Heritage Center, 3700 Blue Parkway. That's right at Blue Parkway in Cleveland. Well, Come on out yeah. Monday, uh, Tuesday through Saturdays from 10 to 6. All right, hopefully folks will get out there and enjoy. Thanks so much for coming and sharing. This Saturday, we will show the documentary twice at 930 and again at 11 o'clock. It only runs for 47 minutes, so come on out and enjoy it. That'd be some really good history to know, and I know a lot of kids have been uh, coming to the exhibit yes. as oh, yes. well. I'd love to have the youth come to see it. This All is right. their history. They need to know. All right, thanks guys for coming. Thank you.